This video is sponsored by Abakaretsu.co. Coming through, coming through, having to wade through all these anime waifus. Now I'm here to tell you guys a story on how I became known as the best bait fisherman west of the great Mississippi, and how I became known as the masturbator. You know what, just for the lulls, let's go ahead and just look up some fishing memes. Let's see if there's any good fishing memes out there. Sorry I missed your call. I was on the other line. Get it? Because he was, he was on the other line. Like, fishing line. I need a six-month fishing trip. Twice a year. Ugh. Ugh. Here's a social distancing tip for you. Stay away from my fishing spot. Ugh. When your boss makes a normie joke, but you want that weekend off so you can go fishing. <laughs> okay, that one's... That one's not bad. All right, you guys want to actually see like a good fishing meme? Let me let me pull it up here. Hang on, we just got to watch this Amazon ad real quick. Now here's a good, here's a good fishing meme. <laughs> uh, now that's humor. Oh, hang on, you guys. I, I, I think we got a bite. Yep, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Come here, come on, come come to Papa. Holy sh- holy crap, Lois, it's- Taiga from Toradora. Toradora, one of the first mangas I read way back in the day and one of the first animes I ever watched. And to this day is one of my favorite animes of all time. Toradora is one of those animes that blends everything it's trying to do very, very well. It's a great comedy. It's a great romance. It's serious. It's funny. It'll make you cry. It'll make you laugh. Every single character in that anime is memorable in their own way and gives back to developing the plot as the anime goes on. It really is a classic anime in my eyes. A, a teenage Age romance coming of age story uh, that is done very very well you know an anime is good when it's as old as Toradora and is still getting new merch made quite regularly Toradora aired in 2008 okay that was a while ago. I mean, in 2008, I was just coming back, I think, for my second tour in Nam. It was either that or I was a high school student who played Call of Duty all day. It one of those statements is true. And with watching Toradora comes one of the best waifus ever to be created. She's small, she's fierce, she's Sundre. It's none other than the palm top tiger herself, Taiga. When I first watched Toradora, I fell in love with Taiga. I can say that probably was one of the first two or three anime waifus that I truly had. She was just like so small and cute, but could also literally beat me up. And that's a combination I really enjoyed. And in what way to better appreciate a timeless waifu than getting, hang on, than getting her brand new 1-4 scale B style bunny figure. I had to slightly damage this box for this bit, so uh, hope, hope it was worth it. Hope one person out there actually laughed at that because uh, I might be regretting it a little bit. That's right, today we are going to be looking at the four scale bunny suit taiga figure from B-Style, a company that is definitely known for their quality and plethora of waifus and bunny suits, and has been a figure that I've been super excited to unbox since day one. And as I'm just recording this video, there actually has already been announced a second version of this figure coming out with some different colors. That one also looks freaking amazing. Maybe we'll do a video on that one as well, but uh, we'll go ahead and start with the OG here and see if the quality lives up to a B Styles reputation. So without further ado, let's go ahead and cut into this Taiga Bunny figure. Believe me, I have been uh, chomping at the bit to be able to make this video and uh, get this figure open. Taiga, it's been so long, come to papa. All right, before we open this, I'm gonna go ahead and take these off because uh, I'm, I'm literally sweating. I'll give you guys a little bit of a, a redneck uh, strip tease here. God, that feels so much better. My, my balls are very happier. Okay, guys, here she comes, Taiga herself. All right, she's a little bit covered up with plastic pieces here, so let's go ahead and cut into the rest of this, get this blister pack off. You guys know what's fun? Having allergies in California. Just getting constantly deep-throated by our vast forests of eucalyptus trees. 
<laughs> yeah, no problem. I'll, I'll see you guys next spring. <laughs> Jesus Christ, B-Style. <laughs> base went flying, but there's the... There's a first look at the base itself, and uh, it's tiny. Holy crap, for a four scale? What the fuck? Alrighty, you guys, let's go ahead and take the first look at the Taiga four scale bunny here, and... Oh my god, oh. Holy moly, I forgot Tyga had so much hair. Oh, that expression though. Oh my goodness. That is cute. How how can you not like a face like that? Oh my gosh, it almost feels weird to be opening like new Tyga or Toradora stuff. And this is one of those four scales that comes with this little plastic riser peg. And I'm assuming this one goes on this right peg, and then she should just go ahead and slide right onto the base. All right, and there we go. That actually wasn't too bad at all. Takes a little bit of finagling, but uh, definitely I've had worse. Oh my gosh, I forgot her bunny ears. I'm sorry. Go ahead and get rid of the little substitute ears and get the real ears out here. Okay, I know I have said this before, but she actually looks really cute without the bunny ears, just being in the bunny costume itself. But let's go ahead and still put on the ears just to see if that enhances the situation. <laughs> Oh my god, she's she's so cute. Okay, I stand corrected. The the ears stay on. The ears stay on during sex. All right, I gotta say this figure is just so cute. It, it just it perfectly captures the expression that Taiga has about ninety five percent of the time throughout the anime. The bunny suit and the overall quality of this figure is exactly what you would come to expect from B Style. Everything I see is is done. Perfectly. I really like the sheen that you can see on the ears and then on the bunny suit itself how that kind of shines a little bit under the light. I know some people online were complaining about the base and more specifically the color of the base and how it doesn't really go along with anything here. To me, I really don't care as long as the base works and it's at least somewhat creative. Um, I don't really mind it. This is probably one of the instances where they could have went with a clear base and it would have been perfectly acceptable. But if the base is gonna be my biggest complaint about this figure, then you know what, that's really not that bad. I mean, honestly, are you gonna be looking at the base of this figure? Or are you gonna be looking at the upper 90% of this figure? Overall though, super cute. I love the expression. Expression on this figure is the biggest selling point. It is done perfectly. I love her hair and how it kind of flows and almost changes colors at the end a little bit. And then of course, this being a bunny B style figure, you do get the realistic fabric for the leggings, which is always awesome to have. Overall, I love this figure. I think it is the perfect pose and expression. Like if you asked Taiga to put on a bunny suit and bunny ears, this is the exact expression she would have. We we all know that. All the true Taiga fans out there know that is exactly what her face would look like if you asked her to do that. Now you guys know that I cannot end this review without giving you guys a closer look at a figure of, of such greatness as this. So here is a closer look at the B-Style 1-4 scale bunny suit Taiga for you guys at home. Enjoy. Tyga's actually got some cake though. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, because I did. Now one of the most common questions that I get on my YouTube videos is, AP, 
Where did you get that awesome shirt? Well, I'm very glad that you asked. And that is none other than Bakaretsu.co. If you have watched any of my past figure reviews or any of my YouTube videos, then most likely you have seen me in one of Bakaretsu's original design shirts. I love Bakaretsu's designs so much. They're minimalistic, they're modern, and the shirts themselves are so comfortable and last forever, even after multiple washes. I cannot tell you guys the amount of times that I found a cute anime shirt online. I order it. It's super uncomfortable or pilly. I wash it once or twice and the design is just completely ruined. I guarantee you that's not gonna happen with your Bakaretsu shirts. These things are made to last and are so freaking comfortable to wear. Now, of course, I'm wearing the classic steel Bakaretsu shirt here from the anime Konosuba, but I also love the Flat is Justice and the Ara Ara MILF shirt that they designed as well. I wear all of Bakaretsu shirts religiously, not only for videos, but when I'm going out, when I'm seeing my family, and I get complimented on them all the time. People are always asking, Asking, oh, where did you get that shirt? So head on over to Bakaretsu.co and remember to use the promo code ANIMEPLEASE123 at checkout to receive $3 off your first order. That's Bakaretsu.co, anime apparel for the modern weeb. Bakaretsu, thank you so much for sponsoring this video and making such quality shirts as well. We appreciate it. I wonder if I Konosuba style steal my own underwear. STEAL! Okay, these were sold to me as being unisex, so... Alrighty everyone, thank you so much for watching this video as we took a closer look at the four scale Taiga bunny suit figure herself. Be sure to leave down in the comments your guys' opinion on this figure versus the new version that was just released with the different colors. I'm curious to see which one people actually like better and uh, if, if you do want to see a review of the second version. I also have the link to all my social media down below so if you want to check out my Instagram, if you want to join my Discord. All those links will be down below, so be sure to check those out. But that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be sure to catch all of you in the next one. Peace.